Hey guys, I'm at Green Planet Grocery in Camillus, New York. It's a Whole Foods store. We're gonna go in. My buddy invited me to come in and uh, just do a video here. He works here. So let's see all the awesome vegan products they carry. As you can see, as soon as you walk in, they have some fresh, organic produce. Just look at all those colors. And they have their little bulk section. They have everything here. This is actually where I found my beetroot powder and my citric acid for when I recreated the Starbucks zombie frappuccino. They have all kinds of beans, lentils, nuts, Grab a bag and fill her up. Spirulina is another ingredient I used for that zombie frappuccino, made it green, and it's got tons of health benefits. Vitamin A, vitamin K, iron, protein. We have all these cacao powders and protein powders, maca. These are all the superfoods that you can utilize in different things like smoothies, salads, shakes, oatmeal, and so on. As you can see, they have a ton of different protein powders to choose from. And check it out, a bunch of different vegan jerky. Primal strips have been around for a long time. And here's the Texas barbecue. Here's what they look like. They're pretty good. And this uh, Light Life Smart Jerky, I've never had this one. And they have hippies, which are kind of like a vegan cheese puff. Earth Balance has some kettle chips and buttery popcorn, both vegan. And then Enjoy Life has these crunchy minis, chocolate chip, double chocolate, and sugar crisp, all vegan. I tried these before when I was at the expo. They're really, really good. A dehydrated fruit snack. And then they have a vegetable base, which I haven't tried that version. And then of course, Annie soups, huge cans of coconut milk. We have different nut milks. Uh, they have the new Elmhurst nut milks, Almond Breeze. Just so many different nut milks and vegan milks to choose from. The nut pods. Of course, I can never say enough good things about Rice Dream, which was the first vegan milk I ever tried. Uh, the Lenny and Larry cookie. And here's a few vegan items that are made fairly local to the area of Syracuse, New York. All right, so I just bumped into my friend Caleb, who is also a longtime vegan. I've known Caleb for many years. He works here. He actually invited me to come into Green Planet and do this video for you guys. So, Caleb, tell me what kind of vegan items are here that are your favorites, some of your staples in your household, and you can't do without. Can you show us some? Absolutely. We can just walk around and check them out. All right. Um, walk down this way. I mean, we have tons of different chips here. Obviously, I love bean fields down here. Now, jalapeno nacho is my favorite. Um, all vegan all the time for bean fields. I haven't ran into anything that they haven't had that hasn't been vegan. Vegan Rob's over here, awesome. Um, my favorite would probably be the turmeric chips here, uh, the Brussels sprout puffs. Um, very similar to just like a regular cheese puff when I was growing up. Um, delicious, um, but just healthier and obviously uh, cruelty free. Um, if we walk down this way, we have vegan macaroni and cheeses. Uh, there's a lot of them, Road's End, there's Dea. Uh, we have Upton's that we just got in, which is awesome. And uh, they're right down here, actually. Annie's actually has a new one here. Uh, Annie's is pretty good, not my favorite. I probably would go with Road's End. It's been around the longest and- It's distributed by Edward and Sons. Yeah, it's awesome. I like that. And also Annie's, I ha there's, you have one that I haven't seen before. Sure. Have you tried both of them? I have. This, uh, oh no, this is uh, this is the gluten-free version right oh, here. Oh, okay. That's, and... that's the only difference with that one. That one's just a cheddar flavor. They do have um, a pumpkin and sweet potato one as well, which I've had. Oh, um, wow. We actually are all out of that right now. Um, it's been doing pretty well, so we got to get that one back in. So what is your favorite out of all the mac and cheeses? I would have to say that the Road's End brand is my favorite. I've been eating it since... I mean, since the mid 2000s, I'm not sure exactly when it came out, but I, I feel like the formulation hasn't changed at all and it's been consistently good. Um, we do also have the Uptons up here, which we just got in recently. Um, this is cool because we have a little bacon, vegan bacon pieces in this one, and this is just the regular macaroni and cheese. Also, um, 
it's ready to eat. All you have to do is just heat it up. You don't have to boil water or anything. You just put it right in a pan or microwave if you want and just heat it up and it's ready to go. So it just, comes in a pack, package it does. that you yeah. pour it out and heat it. Yeah, okay, which is cool. different from the, all of the other ones down here. Um, and it has a pouch similar to the Dea or similar to Velveeta that I used to have when I was a kid, um, if you're familiar with that at all. Awesome. Um, yeah. It's been a while. I did try it at the expo, but it's been a while, so. Yeah, it has I've, good flavor, and. Uh, and what about these? You got the Thai? Yeah, I've tried all of these. All of these Upton's brand is, is pretty good. They're uh, based out of Chicago, and I actually used to live there, so it was all over the place around there. But now it's growing and moving all over the country, which is awesome. And then they got their jackfruits over here too, the barbecue and the Oh yeah, jackfruit is great. I mean, I'll just eat it as it is, but it's great in stir fry for sure. And well, we have some local items too. So how is this uh, Flower City? Flower City is awesome. Um, I found out about it when I started working here a few years ago. And it's actually from Fairport, which is uh, pretty close to Rochester. And they have all different sorts of, of pasta, including, um, I mean, we just have a few here. We have spinach garlic, red onion, sun-dried tomato, sweet potato, wild mushroom, um, different shapes. Uh, the big uh, seller that we have here would just obviously be the linguine and fettuccine, um, but we have pappardelle, which is awesome. It's just a thicker, it's a thicker fettuccine, as you can see in here, which is pretty cool. Um, but they have different shapes, uh, saffron infused and gnocchi here, which is really tasty. And they have uh, jalapeno ones and habanero pastas as well that uh, we don't have in stock right now, but I can get them in at any time. Okay, so the cooler section. All right, I love all the hummus we have. The Ithaca hummus is the best seller for hummus. Actually, we only carry the Ithaca hummus now, which is awesome. But my favorite dipping sauce would be the bitchin' sauce. It's from uh, Carlsbad, California, and it's made its way out onto the East Coast finally. What's it made of? One of the main ingredients, it's, it's an almond base, but one of the main ingredients that I taste is nutritional yeast in here. I love it. Um, but we have uh, nutritional yeast, lemon juice, almonds, grapeseed oil. There's actually Bragg's liquid aminos in here, which gives it a special flavor. Um, it's garlic, spices, sea salt. It's, uh, it's a unique flavor. I'd have to say just try it yourself. Um, I can't really describe it. Um, something like I've never tasted before. Plus, there's different flavors. We got Bombay, Chipotle, Pesto, Cilantro, uh, one called Heat. So for ice creams, we have Natamu. Uh, I mean, we have other ice creams, so delicious, obviously, and uh, Coconut Bliss down here, but Natamu is my personal favorite, and it's been growing in popularity with customers here. We have two whole rows of it down here with plenty of different flavors. My favorites are the Rockiest Road. My favorite as well. All right. And uh, my other favorite is Cookies and Cream. Good one. And what's your other favorite? Uh, the birthday cake. Do you have that? We absolutely do. We just got this one in recently. That one is awesome as well. So you carry two of my favorite ice creams here. Awesome. <laughs> uh, it is a coconut base and it's just delicious. I definitely recommend you come down and try it. I second that. Oh, and I see you got the big popular guy right there. Oh yeah, absolutely. As soon as we were available, as soon as it was available for us to get, we we purchased it immediately. The Beyond Burger for a while had only been available at Whole Foods, and there's not a Whole Foods around Syracuse. And so, as soon as that went on the market for us, we got it. And people have been coming here like crazy. They sell out pretty fast? Oh yeah, we got two cases uh, to begin with and they sold out within the first week they were gone. Um, of course, the Beast Burger is still tasty by them. And I, I honestly, Beyond, Beyond Meat brand is just a staple in my house. I always have these ground crumbles for pasta, chicken strips. And I had definitely, I had one of these yesterday. So it's delicious. I hear they're coming out with the Beyond Sausage. Ooh, I can't wait. As soon as it's available, I'm ordering it. All right, I see we have all the Dea pizzas, but you also have, everybody's been talking about that one right there. You want to grab that? Yeah, and we've had this one for a while, and I don't think anyone knew that it was here. So now you know. This vegan margarita pizza by Amy's uh, is delicious. It has uh, Dea cheese right on it, and it's just, it's not gluten-free. Uh, sorry for you gluten-free people, but it's just the crust is thick and it's awesome So I definitely uh, would try that. That's my favorite pizza. I usually have one every week <laughs> I gotta try that pizza. Yeah, 850 and well worth it. Okay Obviously you have a lot of Gardein products But I see a couple items here that I haven't seen anywhere else and I see one that I've never seen So you want to just kind of show us some of these sure absolutely we expanded on the Gardein section big time um, This is one of my favorites 
the chicken patties. And you know, the vegan chicken patties have been around a while. We've had, uh, what's the Boca um, and Morningstar had a chicken patty uh, you know, back in the day. I think it's only vegetarian though. But these are great. Um, and we've got a couple different types of burgers, the black bean, um, Chipotle black bean, we got the veggie burger. Um, but these pockets are awesome, and I don't see them in a lot of other places. The, uh, we have a breakfast pocket, the pepperoni pizza pocket, and the barbecue porkless pockets, and they're awesome, very tasty. Um, and you know, the crispy fingers that I usually see are the seven green, and we usually carry those, but I can't find these Chipotle lime ones in too many places. I'm sure they have them. But. I've never had those. Have, they, have you had them? Are yeah, they they're delicious. And actually, my wife, they're, they're her favorite. So we're constantly having these for, for a meal at least once a week. And I see an, one other item that I rarely ever see. I've only had them once before, and those are those breakfast patties. Oh, yeah, the breakfast patties are great if you want to do the uh, Strong Hearts Egg Trick Muffin. These are perfect for them right here. Caleb, let's talk about bread. Vegans are always looking for good, healthy vegan bread that also tastes good. So this is honestly probably my favorite bread that we have here. And I love everything bagels. And so this organic everything whole wheat bread is just, it's just awesome. We have it in our freezer, but you can let it thaw out and just keep it right on your counter. You don't have to keep it frozen. It will last longer if it's frozen. And this one is amazing. Same brand, the Chipotle. And so it just has a really good flavor. It's not really that hot, so don't expect a lot of heat or anything. It's just the flavor is really good. And I'm making sandwiches. Um, especially with those uh, guardian chicken patties a lot with this one right here. All that we have on here is vegan. Um, they're not a completely vegan company, um, but everything that we carry by them is vegan right now. Um, so this is probably my favorite, the multigrain. Um, it's just fluffy, delicious. It's not gluten-free. Again, I'm sorry for you gluten-free people. But it's definitely a must-have for vegan bread. And uh, these ciabatta rolls are amazing. So another cool find that we have here is this dairy-free secret sauce by Brooklyn Brine, made with New York State apple cider vinegar. It's delicious. Um, it tastes like just a secret sauce you would have, uh, you know, at a fast food restaurant growing up or something. Um, but all vegan, of course. And the same brand has these different pickles. Uh, we have the New York City deli pickles down here and the damn spicy pickles, which are awesome. These are the ones I usually get. Maple bourbon relish. They just have so many different products. My favorite being this, uh, this dairy-free secret sauce. This is uh, their version of white chocolate. Oh, it's vegan. It's raw? Yeah. How is it? It's delicious. Zimmer bakes. And, uh, and all these are, uh, are vegan. We got home of the big ass cookie. Yeah, that is. A Look how big that is. Yeah. It's really thick. Oh, you know what? I have had one of these before. They're good. Yeah, see, they cut, they're they made with egg replacer right there. So. And Green Planet's the only place around here that I know of that sell these Unreal peanut butter cups. They are certified vegan and delicious. Uh, Prana has really good vegan bark. I've tried one of their flavors. I don't recall which one it was. This is the caramelized nuts and sea salt. And then we have some Justin's chocolate hazelnut butter. Personally, I love this stuff, and it is vegan certified. It is pretty pricey, though. But they do have these littler packets in case you just want to try it, only $1.39. And Nutiva has these packets of hazelnut spread. I actually just tried these for the first time last month. Super good. And here they have some fresh-made almond butter and some cashew butter in case you want to go that route. And I just tried this for the first time recently. I hear it's a vegan version of Nutella. I've never had Nutella, but it's super good. Okay, I have one more thing to show you that I just remembered. So check it out this way. All right, so this is probably the most important thing in the store. Right down here. Oh, oh my goodness, the vegan zombie. <laughs> Cook and survive. You have them here. We definitely have them here. Come and get your copy here immediately if you don't have it already. It might th save your life. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for uh, showing me some of these awesome things. I'll let you get back to work. I'm gonna go check out some more items here. He's got a lot of work to do, you know. Always, never ends.